I want to show you something. <laughs> All the smoke up the rug, side of life. Hello and welcome to beautiful Dubrovnik. So on this trip we are going to be teaching you some new vocabulary words, but not only that, we're also going to be showing them to you. These words are going to be pretty random because they're not specifically going to be about Dubrovnik, but rather about our trip in general. Enjoy. Here is a map of Dubrovnik, and part of Dubrovnik right here is a peninsula. And a peninsula is just a, a part of land that is surrounded by water on three different sides. Even if we look at Old Town, um, it's kind of like a mini peninsula as it's surrounded by water on three sides as well. You have everything. Are you sure? No. Because you're infamous for forgetting stuff. You're infamous for forgetting stuff. And now we're going to go explore a little bit of Old Town. <laughs> This right here is called an alley. So it's basically a narrow pathway, usually for people walking, that is in between two buildings or even behind a building. There are so many different alleys in Dubrovnik, like this one. to get lost and turned around in here, but so much fun as well. These are called love locks. I guess people will write their names on them and then lock them up on these gates for their eternal love. So why, why do people do it? They do it to show that once they lock it, their love is that they're locked together in love forever or as long as these locks are on the fence I guess so what they've done is engraved their names into these locks and engraved just means to write something onto a hard surface like a lock such as this so this would be like something that's written on there this is engraved not all of these are engraved, but a lot of them are. Here's a good one, Wes. This one looks like it belongs on a gym locker, but there's a good example of one. It's engraved. Ava and Kieran, good job. We are now getting ready to walk from here up to there. And this right behind me is a cable car. It is a type of transportation that will take people up and down um, mountains and it, it is attached to a cable. <laughs> process of walking up the mountain perhaps foolishly we decided not to take the cable car
So we made it to the top. Um, it's a nice climb, a few hundred meters, um, but it was straight up. <laughs> so we thought we were going to do this without the cable car, but then as we were walking up, this really nice couple gave us tickets to use the cable car to go back down. So we're going to check it out and show you guys the view. <laughs> Big thank you to the kindness of strangers. And over there. No. Yeah. So just behind me is Old Town in Dubrovnik, and this is the most historical part of the city. And a long time ago, these walls were built that fortified the city. And fortified, it means just to protect, and you hear it as an adjective, talking about like fortified fences or fortified walls, which is what these were. How else is the town fortified? Well, it includes three forts, 16 towers, six bastions, two corner fortifications, and two citadels. So, a lot. <laughs> in like the 16th century I think it, there was an earthquake and the city almost fell to the ground and then they had to rebuild it and the 16th century was like really big and blah 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 we're very well informed on this this trip <laughs> we are it's just a really long history <laughs> city walls. It's taken us about three hours, two or three hours to walk around it. You can feel the history. Today we're going to be going there. So you can see behind me it's a little cloudy this morning so if we wanted to describe the weather we'd say it is a bit overcast outside and overcast just means that it is like it is. It's cloudy, it might rain, it might not rain. But the good news is, is that it's not going to stay like this all day. But right now, it's overcast. So you get a round trip? Yeah. How much? Hello. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got our tickets. Here's the boat. We're on our way. Island. The weather is still a bit overcast, as you can see, but you know, that's okay, at least it's not ready. This is, I don't know what this is. Um, we found it, we're at 19, the Chapel of Annunciation. So the island is full of these peacocks. This is a peacock. It 
it's kind of like a turkey but way more <laughs> colorful and usually males are more colorful than females and then they're just do you really know this or are you just making that up i think so usually <laughs> males are more colorful than females in many species so it's the same with the peacock they're peaceful i guess he's getting really close now he's so pretty grab him get him go 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 apparently there's no smoking of pipes on this island we're going to Fort Royal. watching. We hope you enjoyed our trip to Dubrovnik. Hopefully you learned some new vocabulary words. Now it's time to practice. Take one of the words from the video and use it in a sentence in the comments below. If you don't remember the meaning of the words, just rewatch the video. Goodbye, we'll see you next time. didn't know you wanna is a huge cat person. Uh oh. It's gonna attack. What's it mean? It's showing its butt to you. No, this is What does that mean when cats do that? <laughs>